Hello everyone and welcome back to Realism Overall Sandbox in Kerbal Space Program 1.8.1 and in this video I present something that requires the Monument Launcher. Uh, mainly because of its diameter, not so much because of its mass or the need for Delta V. As you can see we've got quite a lot of Delta V, but I am keeping it somewhat secret until, well okay you've already seen the title of the video, but I'll have my fun anyway. Um, we do have Valentina here because we will want to take a tour of this thing. And I haven't extended my uh, monument launch pad yet. Uh, I've decided that it'll eventually have to be 10 kilometers. But I haven't gotten to that yet. So it's a little bit too close to shore right now. But uh, we'll go with it for now since this is what I've got. Alright, so without further ado, monument launcher time. Again, for those who uh, do not recall, this is a launcher capable of launching a fully fueled Saturn V to orbit. So... Yeah, 52,000 tons right now. So, ignition. They are technically real engines, just a whole lot of them. Uh, I mean, uh, each one of these eight is four engines. And this one at the bottom is the equivalent of 41 engines. So. And this is its... Ascent rate with all of that. So up we go. It'll take a while though. At least this isn't the stock, well, not the stock, the procedural parts version of the monument launcher that I first used. That was harsh. Okay, we are past the speed of sound. looking good from this vantage point. I don't know why Valentina, we can only see her hair. I'm not sure, really. I don't know what's going on with the camera. And seems like very flexible blockers around. Seems like a wild ride. Uh, and actually, these are each eight engines, uh, my mistake, uh, not four engines. Uh, separation. Uh, still need to work on that separation to make it a little bit safer, but... So far, it has not been disastrous, and we still get the asterisk out of it. We are not going to be separating the fairings until way later. It's... <laughs> We're gonna take our time on that, because I'm pretty sure it'll explode everything if I try to do it until uh, before we get to orbit, so. Just to give you an idea, this di the diameter of this stage is 24 meters, the diameter of this stage is 32 meters. Basically, the fairing diameter is 32 meters, uh, a little bit over to 32 meters. Okay, core stage is done, separation and ignition. Thirteen M1 engines. Well, hopefully physical time warp doesn't mess things up, but I'm getting a bit impatient here. Oh, uh, somehow the plume is making a circle under physical time warp. That's interesting. I mean, in this direction you expect a circle. That's normal. In this direction, not usually. But that's, that's clearly a circle. Interesting. Okay, back to normal physics warp, physics time, and no more circle with the plume. And actually, oop, let's flatten that out. Uh, okay, we'll be going to higher orbit anyway. A little bit lopsided. But, alright, time for the fairings. Fairings? Ooh, you can see why that's problematic. Ooh, please, don't kill anything. Uh, 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 Okay, well, I bet the, these bottom bits don't have colliders. It's only this part that has a collider. Well, I don't know. It still highlights. Well, they didn't blow anything up, so all right. So what we've got here looks like this at the moment. And that might give you some ideas. Um, it is a space station. 
and we are going to separate off that stage. Let's. All right. No, you I don't need anymore. You're the part I need. And actually, we've got fuel cells built in, so let me start that off so that we can recharge. We've got two in this bit. There's two parts here, and uh, two in this bit. And that'll allow us to recharge. Okay. RCS, it is still pretty heavy, 2,500 tons. And that's because we want to boost it up to a higher orbit. Now, some websites, uh, for the, the basis of this particular station uh, is from 2001 A Space Odyssey. Uh, it's, it's not in its full glory yet, obviously. We haven't deployed it yet. There is an animation. But, um... A website says that it was in lower orbit, but I don't think so. Looking, I mean, all the images have Earth pretty far in the background. It's a little bit tough to decide exactly where it was, but we're definitely gonna boost it up higher. These are, in fact, hollow, by the way. There are colliders, two floors. I haven't decorated inside yet. This whole business has more than 400 individual colliders to make this happen. So, and I need to check those out by having Valentina float through. In 2001, it's definitely not at geostationary orbit. It's not that high, judging from the view of Earth. So I'm not going to lift it up all the way to geosynchronous orbit. We're just going to lift it up so that it looks good on the periapsis side. I think, if I were to make a guess... That's probably good enough. Okay, let's get to periapsis where we will see the Earth and then deploy everything. I also might want to make it heavier. I based it on the, the skin area, the surface area of it. But of course it would have contents, right? It's not... I uh, know, just kill rotation. It wouldn't just be the surface area. It'd have stuff inside. We do have some stuff. Uh, Valentina has six years of supplies, which is not that much when you think of a space station, though. I mean, how many people are going to be on here? And again, it's not full size, but still, it's pretty big. All right. Let me decouple. It's got its own RCS thrusters, but, you know, not particularly strong. Um, maybe I should deploy it first before decoupling. I don't know, let's see. Let's decouple first. Okay. Alright. So we are free. And... Alright. So here it goes. Here goes nothing. Let me get this off to the side. It might be too fast in animation. So, out. Rotate and then fit together. So that is one of my little accomplishments, figuring out how to put this together, pack it together, basically. And so there we are. And um, I don't know if I should... Oh, and we can open... Now, normally we would only open the hatches after something is docked to it, and we'd have one of the pass-through docking ports that I showed in a previous video, but I'll open the hatches without doing that now. And so you see, this is open, but also uh, the plates to each of these are open. So let me uh, close the hatches and actually bring it in first. So retract arms. And so you can sort of see how it goes. I I'm cheating here. Uh, they are telescopic, but uh, I didn't really make the entryways for the pistons. They do pack properly, so th um, they're like, if I the camera inside here you can see they're like this but technically we should have to have something open up for them to fit in like that uh, but on the side here you can see there's a, like a door here and that's what opens when we open the hatch to allow people to go through into the corridors to the outer bits so once again we will deploy And we will open the hatch. 
Okay. Uh, I don't know why this this one is the only one. Let me just turn off its RCS. I don't need it to do any RCSing. I'm I'm debating whether to rotate the station at this point. Uh, obviously, we don't want kill rotation. We sort of let's just turn that off. Uh, RC RCS on and. I don't know which way to rotate it, but... I don't know if that's going to cause complications for Valentina, but we'll see. Okay, well that's a mild rotation. I'll have to do some calculations to see what kind of theoretical gravity we would get from it, but... Okay, Valentina, Valentina EVAing. Not too sure this is the best sun angle right now. Probably should reverse it, but uh, because I highlighted in green, there's the view here. So, okay, Val. Yeah, this might be complicated. We'll see. Ah, especially the camera views. Uh oh, uh, I've lost her. No, okay. Uh, 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 uh. uh. Okay. This 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 way. This way. Okay, go through there. So now we're in the a portion of the center area. Oh, that the hatch ended up way further away than I thought I'd made it go, but okay. And I thought I'd put tanks here. Have they Hmm. I wonder if something's happened through the rotation. Oh no. There should be visible, uh, mod uh, not mod propellant, uh, RCS tanks, methane, and oxygen. Well, she's getting pushed by the, <laughs> by the rotation. Uh, she's getting pushed around a bit. Um, let me try and go through the corridor. So there's the telescopic corridor. Could use decorations. And now we're yep, now we're in one of the outer arms. Um but she's definitely not experiencing gravity. I mean, she's getting pushed by stuff, but <laughs> Is this I don't think she's supposed to stick to this edge. I think uh, let me turn off the jetpack. Let's see what happens. So th there's two floors, so Oh, she's just sort of spitting around and running around. So there are these uh, circular holes to get from one to another. Okay. I don't know how to turn my camera in a way that's more viewer friendly. I don't know if she could walk. I, I don't, yeah. She's sort of stuck to this floor, which is good. But I don't think I can make her walk right now. Is the problem. I think it might be possible to pretend that there's gravity, ah, but without her being able to walk, I don't know. And I've never really figured out how to rotate them properly. Ah. Well, most of the colliders seem to be working fine, and you can see why there need to be a lot. You can't have concave colliders with Kerbal Space Program, so... Nice view of Earth, too, actually. Okay, maybe I've gotten the hang of this. Um, it's endless, of course. It's, just, it's circular, so we won't actually know when we've... But I need to put some decorations inside or something. The problem is that has to be done in Blender. If you try and attach stuff to it, in Kerbal Space Program, if you try and place stuff in Kerbal Space Program inside of this, it won't follow the animation of the arms. So that wouldn't work. Yeah, lots of colliders. But impressively, it, it seems to work. Despite having to make 400 colliders for this. And it's not that big a file either. So I think I have room to make the direct, uh, decorations. The wall textures, I mean, could be worse. Could be worse. 
I mean, this is what it looks like without me highlighting it in green, by the way. That's sort of important. Oh, I need to follow her. The camera is a bit of an issue. Because I keep having to rotate it to follow the rotation. Okay, let's go down into this one. Okay, so this is one of the... Basically, it's like this. We're, we're here. <laughs> uh, so she's inside. Oh, no, keep going. Keep going. Get back down. Let's get, get you back into your pod. But it's navigable with this with it rotating at this rate at least. Can't quite get the artificial gravity sense. Oh no. Oh, are we on the side that doesn't have um I think we're on the side that can't get into Ah uh, I'm lost. Um can't get through, maybe. Or I don't know, let's see. Let's go through here. Oh gosh. Yeah, the, the other side is the one with that hatch. I wonder what why I've left this square thing here. That was a different plan, by the way. Um, it's a different plan. I thought that maybe I only made it one-sided. I think we'll collide into that, and we can't go through. Yeah, yeah, it's not supposed to look like that. It's supposed to be sealed like this. It's just that that polygon does not have a backward-facing um, thing. Image. There's the mob propellant tanks. Uh, not mob propellant, I keep saying mob propellant. RCS tanks for the station. Okay, well, I'm not gonna belabor this for you. That's the idea anyway. Concept design. I call it Space Station 3, though it's based on Space Station 5. Space Station 5 would have another one. But this is sort of sufficient, maybe? I don't know. Can you just rotate one? I mean, I think you can just rotate one, right? It's not a big deal, uh, not a problem, is it? Or is it gonna like wobble or stuff? Uh, physics. Anyway, I, I'm going to try and make an Orion 3 space plane and fly it in there. And have, uh, we'll have to have a docking port. So we'll place this, uh, we'll relaunch this. I need to put a do uh, pass through docking port there. And then I'll make an Orion 3 space plane, or maybe an Orion 2, we'll call it, just so it's not uh, not officially exactly like that. And I want to fly it in there. I, I don't know if there's a copyright safe version of the Blue Danube, but anyway, that's, uh, that's a weird procession. Hmm. I don't even know what we're... I guess we're focusing on the pod, maybe? I don't know. Or, no, no, it's uh, it's Val, right. So it might not be precessing. It might just be Val bouncing around. Anyway, so with this, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. Oh, that's a good view. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.